now St. Lawrence, Kansas for the 16th ranked Jayhawks against number 21, San Diego State. Hi, everyone. Welcome to College Basketball on CBS. Bureau Adidas alongside Doug Gottlieb. Doug, tell us what excites you most about this matchup. The fact that you have the best field goal percentage defense in the country in San Diego State against one of the best offensive teams in the country, fifth in the country in field goal percentage offense in Kansas. Can San Diego State play as well defensively as they do statistically against one of the elite front lines in the country? All right, let's get you our AT&T fast analysis as we get you ready for Kansas and San Diego State. Well, we mentioned their front line. It's incredible. But in terms of ceiling for Kansas, it's going to come down to Nadir Tharp, their point guard, who's playing with a bad ankle, and Frank Mason, who will play with them some, and how they handle San Diego State's pressure. Meanwhile, San Diego State needs other scorers. J.J. O'Brien, Josh Davis. They got a great shot blocking lineup for Kansas. Can San Diego State get enough buckets to keep this crowd out of it? Let's get you our starters. Save you fame's arguably the most underrated point guard in the country, Shepard O'Brien Davis, the transfer from Tulane and Spencer. Lead time for Kansas, Park at the point. Selden Wiggins, the highly touted incoming first-year player. Also Perry Ellis and Joel Embiid, the freshman center. The officials today, John Higgins, Jerry Pollard, and Rick Randall. 68 straight wins in this building for Kansas against non-conference opponents. And here we go, Kansas 9-3, 16th in the Associated Press Bowl. San Diego 11-1, they have won 10 straight. One of the hottest teams in the country, only the fifth double-digit win streak in the 93-year history of the program and dug the early turnover. And San Diego State is a tremendous rebounding team. 40 boards a game. But remember, Kansas has out-rebounded 11 of their 12 opponents. This game will be won and lost, not just a turnover battle, but on second-shot offense and defense, meaning you miss it, somebody better go corral it. This is the first game of the new year for Kansas. Haven't played since December the 29th as Ellis misses the little hook shot. Knocked out, and they get a fresh 35. That last victory coming here against Toledo. As we get a whistle blowing underneath San Diego State, a winner earlier this week at Colorado State to open their Mountain West Conference schedule. We saw Joel Embiid, number 21, quickly rising the charts of being one of the elite freshmen in the country. Almost unstoppable low post presence when he gets position. That's why San Diego State's going to defend him and double him every time he gets it. Embiid trying to kick out that time. And another early turnover. There is Bill Self. What an 11 year run it has been here. No one thought he could follow up what Roy Williams did when he took over here before the 03 04 season. He has done that and then some. Nine straight Big 12 titles. That's remarkable. 16,000 plus the 203rd consecutive sellout here at Allen Fieldhouse. And this is a matchup, Doug, of two of the 11 active head coaches that have won a national championship, Steve Fisher in his 15th season. And you have polar opposites in terms of what they inherited. Steve Fisher took over a program that was a vapid wasteland. They built a beautiful arena. They start getting players, winning games. They never won an NCAA tournament game before he got there. Now they're a constant presence in the top 25. Still looking for our first points, and Kansas with its second turnover. This was Winston Shepard, the sophomore out of Houston. High school star Finley Prep in Las Vegas, and the Aztecs take the early lead. And, at, and San Diego State will press on every made, every made free throw. And Nadir Tharp sprained his ankle Wednesday in practice. Didn't practice again until yesterday. Yesterday. So let's see how he handles the speed and quickness of the Aztecs. Bill Self telling us last night he didn't know if Tharp was going to be able to play. Right, it was only a tweet. Andrew Wiggins. Tharp for three. With seven of his last 12 threes over his last three entering today. Pull up transition three from Thames. And now Wiggins in the open floor, poked away by O'Brien from the back. 12 games into the season for Wiggins. As we take a look at the San Diego State team, this was supposed to be a bridge year. They've got that highly touted freshman incoming class coming next year. No one anticipated this kind of success. No, they won the uh, Wood Legacy. I called the game on CBS Sports Network. They lost to Arizona. Competitive, but they struggled with the size and the length of the number one ranked team in the country, as many would do. That was at home at Viejas. 
but they've also tinkered with their lineup. Their bench is different than it was one of the first games of the season when they lost to the Wildcats. That Arizona loss coming November the 14th. This is tied for the second best 12-game start in the 93-year history of the program. Selden nearly coughed it up inside, able to get to the rim, draw contact, and he'll shoot two. Take a look at what Bill Self's Jayhawks have done this year, 9-3. We told you 16th in the country. And it's basically a brand new team from last season. Very new team, and when you look at the three losses, if you haven't been paying attention to college basketball, you think Kansas has three losses. Their schedule is so difficult. They spent 29 consecutive days away from playing a game in Allen Fieldhouse, one of the premier uh, arenas in the country, home court advantages in the country. Their schedule's so good, they actually have the number one RPI heading into the day of any team in the country, despite so many teams, quality teams, being undefeated. Offensive rebound, they find Wiggins. And that's the part of his game still developing his perimeter skills. Athletically, Doug, there's no one like him in the country. Off the charts, athletically. That is Shepard, who is coming on of late, 17 points over his last three games. So 4-1 lead for the Aztecs. Winston Shepard, an elite athlete who just needs to take good shots and improve his own jump shot. Selden. Selden, a highly touted freshman. They thought he was going to come in and kind of rule the day with Wiggins, but it's been a little bit of a, a build-up for him over the first 12 games. This is Xavier Thames, the fifth-year senior, transferred from Washington State to his freshman season. Davis on a putback attempt. This is a very big front court. All three of their front-line guys standing at least 6'7". And here's where Kansas can create offense. Here's a ball screen that they're going to force to the baseline. This is called bluing or icing. And basically, you're not allowing a player like Andrew Wiggins to turn the corner on a ball screen. Kansas is going to take it, throw it back to their high post, and then reverse the basketball for an open shot. There's Perry Ellis. And he came on last year towards the end of his freshman season. And now it's Kansas' second leading scorer. Ellis gets it back. And Tharp swatted. Spencer coming over, and that one never had a chance. Skyler Spencer is an outstanding shot blocker out of Price High School in Los Angeles. I produced Alan Crabb, a first round dra uh, draft pick, excuse me, second round pick of the Portland Trailblazers this past season. Spencer had five blocks against Washington going back a couple weeks ago. That's Wiggins on the baseline, little floater. But Spencer last year only played about 14 minutes per game, but still set a school and Mountain West Conference freshman record for blocks. Tells you about his defensive prowess. Opening minutes here at Allen. And this game tied to four. This is a big matchup at the point. Fames leaving Thorpe in his wake and puts it down. And, and I, I cannot tell you how emphatically Kansas's staff told their team he likes to go left. Xavier Thames does. Mid range pull up jump shot. Turn down a screen there, mid-range pull-up. He was the MVP of the Wigan Legacy, and when he hits the three, he becomes virtually unguardable. This is Selden from the outside. Larry Eustacey from Colorado State called Thames the best player in the Mountain West Conference earlier this week. This is Davis going to the left team, and he's going to buy beat. Kansas at this end, just one of seven shooting. Selden. Good look at it, rebounded by Davis. Really smart play by Skyler Spencer. Just fake like he was going to block the shot. Davis right to the wreck. Eight to four, San Diego State. Well, you wondered how the Aztecs would handle the pressure of the early minutes. Good start for Steve Fisher's Aztecs. Wiggins drawing contacts, so shoot two. It's on Davis. Doug, what have you seen? from Wiggins so far. Well, Wiggins so far has struggled, but San Diego State right down Broadway, actually right down Massachusetts Avenue. 8-4 San Diego State. Doug, take us through the Aztecs defense. Well, it's a defensive style. This is, again, what I call bluing or icing a ball screen. So the defender actually allows the offensive player to go to the baseline, and they want you to throw back to your big guy who's setting that pick and roll screen. And then the whole idea is use their length, speed, quickness to challenge shots on the weak side, occasionally get steals on those reversal passes. And it's allowed San Diego State to have the number one field goal percentage defense for two-point shots. And how important is that? You look at the last 
Five national champions, all of them have been in the top 15 of two-point field goal percentage defense. And they have picked up right where they have left off today, holding the Jayhawks to just one of eight shooting over the first four-plus minutes. There's Steve Fisher, who last night stepped foot in this building for the first time in his long college coaching career. He said the place reeks of history. It's a cathedral of the sport. And one of the things that's lured Andrew Wiggins from Canada. I asked you before the break what you've seen from him specifically. Everyone talks about it. You know, what kind of player he is. What have you seen? He, he's incredible in transition and when slashing to the basket, very good. He can post up but doesn't necessarily demand the ball. I think the biggest question mark for people who know his talent and his ability is one, Will his jump shot continue to develop without really a point guard who creates shots for him? And two, will he stay thirsty? Does he want to take and make big shots in big situations? O'Brien underneath, James Johnson coming in for the first time. It's Dwayne Poli dragged his pivot foot and another turnover. Well, for all your scores and news, download the CBS Sports app, text 42777, or visit cbssports.com slash mobile. Message and data rates may apply. I, I mean this, it's not just because I have the I logo on my blazer. It's the best sports app out there. Absolutely. And three to six Eastern time, you can listen to the Doug Gottlieb Show on CBS Sports Radio. <laughs> You're good for one shameless plug it, game. It may be a shameless plug, but ask anybody who's tried <laughs> As Perry Ellis, Doug, they've had their chances inside, but Kansas is a little jittery. And they're doubling on every post touch, and the Kansas Bigs have struggled to adjust. This is Matt Schwickley, a sharpshooter from the outside. He started three of the last four games. Today, Fisher has him coming off the bench. So eight to six, Aztecs in front. Here's Joel Embiid. Just three years after coming to the United States from his native Cameroon, has become one of the top freshman centers as Clark carries the triple. And the near Clark can be a very good shooter when he takes good shots. And as of now, all he's doing is setting up shot on the weak side and just waiting for the ball to come around. That's the second three, his first make of the ball game. He's now hit eight of his last 13 three-point shots. Here's Paul Lee, defended by Wiggins. Paul Lee, a phenomenal athlete who's earned minutes, did not play early in the season. They didn't think he earned time in the rotation, and he's done so with his three-point shot. But here's Joel Embiid learning, stepping out of the double team, and then reading the defense, and finding the Tharp on the weak side open for the three. So San Diego State already four turnovers in the early going. And as Embiid will get a quick blow with Kansas up by a point. Shooting numbers for the Jayhawks. Off against Thames. And then a rebounding foul against Tarek Black, the senior transfer out of Memphis, who's in for the first time. See, and that's no good from Nadir Thug. Even though you just hit a jump shot and you attack off a ball screen, get the ball moving side to side, you get any shot you want off of San Diego State because they're doubling every post touch. That means there'll be somebody open on the weak side. Kansas' issue has been they don't have a true creative point guard who's going to set others up. I think that's one of the things that's held Wiggins back a little bit and, and beat back a little bit in their offensive development. And maybe a point guard to give Wiggins some of those lobs to the rim exploit his athleticism. But this, again, very young team. Basically brand new squad for the one from last year. Winston Shepard back in for San Diego State. Baseline shot, no good shoot. It was Akeel Quinn, the junior transfer out of Cal State Northridge. And the Aztecs give it away again. All your favorite stars from TV, movies, and music come together for the People's Choice Awards, live Wednesday, 9, 8 Central, only CBS. Allen Fieldhouse, Lawrence, Kansas. Spiro Adidas, Dargatli, on entire CBS crew. Kansas is 16th in the country, San Diego State number 21. Only the third all-time meet. This is Black doubled on the catch. Now Selby. Wiggins. Offensive rebound, Black. 
And a reaching foul against San Diego State. Bill Self said Black could play in the NFL if he wants to. That's how physical he is. He says he just mauls people. Remember, he graduated at Memphis and was able to transfer and play right away. Came down to Duke or Kansas. And despite the fact he's played limited minutes, some of it is his own lack of production. He's been foul prone. Hasn't shown a sight of pouting, despite the thought that he came in here, he played right away because he had that experience of playing with the Memphis Tigers. His decision basically came down to Kansas and Duke. But Bill Snow says he's had the best attitude of any player on the team so far. And San Diego State will go to back. Foul against Kansas underneath. Now you're going to get a look at Winston Shepard at the point guard spot. Originally from Houston, Texas. Played at Fain Finley Prep, who's Produced number one, the number one draft pick in the draft last year. He is a tremendous talent. Six foot seven, 215, 220 pounds. Can play the one, the two, the three, the four. And the only question is, does he take good shots and make good decisions? Jamari Trailer, the sophomore big man out of Chicago, is in for Kansas for the first time. Underneath Quinn sets up the table for Davis. Back to Quinn. And just swallowed up by Black. Shepard the loose ball. Underneath to Davis for the LU finish. That's the good by Josh Davis. Doug, they're so athletic up front. And uh, San Diego State back in front. Well, it's a tall front line, but they don't have a lot of girth. No. And uh, Josh Davis is not as big as listed, and they're not a great offensive team. Although Davis did average 17 last year at two games. And Davis getting a piece of the shot. Able to get it away from the trailer. I don't love this lineup that Kansas has in. They're a great high-low team, but now you've taken away their two best high-low players. That's Shepard able to create and draw contact. Kansas has missed eight of its last nine shots. And San Diego State doesn't always score pretty, but they score just enough. Aztecs up one. CBS Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by Chevrolet. Find new roads. Buffalo Wild Wings, Wings, Beer, Sports. And by Bud Light, it's the sure sign of a good time. Here we go. 11.35 left to play, opening half in Lawrence, 10-9, San Diego State in front. Wednesday, join us for a basketball telecast like you've never heard before. Microphones will be all over the court to give the viewer a chance to hear what a basketball game sounds like up close and personal. It's Villanova at Seton Hall. All access audio Wednesday, 7 Eastern on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. You always want to know what they're saying down there courtside. Now you get a chance to find out. Check out these numbers. This is coming into the season, right? To San Diego State, outstanding defensive club. Kansas, outstanding offense. Who wins off it? So far, Kansas couldn't throw it in the ocean. It is hard to throw it in the ocean from Kansas, <laughs> but you understand the expression. It is frigid here, by the way. Temperatures in the teens today. Nice and toasty here inside Allen Fieldhouse. San Diego State, good start despite some errant shooting early on. This is Davis against Trailer going to the left hand. If you get him a guy his size, okay? Josh Davis, who had 17 double-doubles last year at Tulane, he can he can score. He can work out down low. Feed him till he burps. You get Joel Embiid in there, it's a little bit of a different story. Steve Fisher showing his prowess as a recruiter. Went to go visit his mother before he actually sat down with Josh Davis. And Josh said that really was the turning point. Fisher going to see his mom, sitting down with her and talking to her about it. Remember, he's a two-time transfer. Began his career at NC State. Then with a coaching change, Mark Godfrey hired. He transferred to Tulane. Graduated on time. And because of the rule where you want to go to a different graduate program, if you qualify, he was able to play right away. And now he gave them a boy where they didn't have interior scoring. Spencer, a good player, not a scorer that much. Able to draw contact and head to the free throw line. So 12-9 lead for San Diego State. Second personal against Black, something that Bill Self talked about, the early foul trouble. Yeah, he's a foul magnet. He comes on the floor, they automatically get more. And he's been a little bit cursed by it as well. Sometimes just out of position, different defensive rotations here at KU. 
for Spencer, only a 42% free throw shooter. First year starter for Steve Fisher. So Black will sit and then beat the freshman back in. Five point lead for the Aztecs. With under 11 minutes left before halftime. In terms of tempo, taking the crowd out of it, Skyler Spencer now with four points. Couldn't be a better start for San Diego State on the road. Looking for a, I, I think for the program, would be a signature win. The biggest game that San Diego State has played in a long time. There's a runner offensive rebound at Bean. He's headed to the line. Doug Wiggins, the most talked about freshman, but this kid may be their best long-term prospect. And uh, Aquil Quinn, just nothing he can do there. Seven feet, long arms, good hands, good position. What a talent. Only played organized basketball starting when he was 16 years old. His first love was volleyball in Cameroon, also a soccer player. But he arrived here just two years ago, knowing little English and even less basketball. And look at where he stands now. The only question, does he stay for an extra year or does he go to the next level? Broke out the dream shake. He, he's infatuated with Akeem Olajuwon. Broke out the dream shake against Alex Kirk when they beat New Mexico over at the Spring Center in Kansas City. Fames holding for the Aztecs. We hit the midway mark of the first half. O'Brien little shuffle feed to Davis. What a find to Spencer. And Bill Self wants a timeout. Eight to two, San Diego State one. Well, this is all started by J.J. O'Brien. He's got a mouse in the house. He dished it to Davis, Davis to Spencer. America's finest cities team, a five. Tuesday on CBS, don't miss the first new episode of the year, the hit drama Person of Interest. Tuesday, 10, 9 Central, only CBS. What a start for the Aztecs here in Lawrence, Kansas, 16 to 11, with exactly 10 minutes left before halftime. Doug, what have you seen so far? I've seen San Diego State figure out the double team in the low post of Kansas, whereas Kansas has really struggled to do the same against San Diego State. 10 to two points in the paint, many of those either second shots or finding the open man when they're doubled in low post. Kansas nine and three, again, they're a little bit rusty, haven't played since December the 29th. Again, it's here in the defense. Ellis swatted a second time. Spencer's sending him back. Skyler Spencer, just tremendous timing, comes from the weak side, just gets a piece of the first one, the second one. That one's sent to the third row. Can Kansas get their offense going? Just three for 17 shooting. Ellis going to the left hand. They can't buy a basket. You got an older, mature team. They lost the FGC, FGSU last year in the NCAA tournament. But they've been to the tournament, transfer players, Winston Shepard blocked by Joel Embiid. They are not afraid to come in here now to the house and play. Wiggins was also there. Kansas just one bucket in the last five minutes. Nine minutes to play. And locate Wiggins in the corner. Bring up by the pick. Gets to the rim. Can't put it down. He has struggled all year missing at the rim. Despite having spectacular length, athleticism, he's really struggled on this lane. Fames. And that will count. A goal ten, And that extends the lead to seven. Andrew Wiggett just go in there and dunk it. Do a chin up. But instead he gooses it up and misses. And Xavier Thames going to the left hand. And be quick in reaction, but the ball was going down. That's a good call. Doug, how impressed have you been by Thames, the 50-year senior point guard, the transfer from Washington State. Probably fully healthy for the first time in a couple of years. What have you seen? Yeah, yeah, he was hurt last year. But this is kind of what I've come to expect from San Diego State. They always have guards that are a little bit undervalued that come in and play well off ball screens. Space for another block. Wiggins going at him. And will shoot free throws. 
But Spencer so far has been a human eraser in this first half. That's the second on Spencer and a big call against the Aztecs. And they're going to use James Johnson, another transfer from Virginia, more because he's a good screener, has you know five fouls to give. But Spencer's been so dynamic as a shot blocker, especially against the size of Kansas. Wiggins at the free throw line has now hit 25 of his last 26. Now, I think for people who are concerned about his shooting, it, it will get better. When you look at Harrison Barnes, when he is first year, he's a preseason first team All-American, he struggled shooting the basketball. With the speed, the tempo of the game, teams scouting what you do, what you don't do well, and a, a little bit like when Harrison Barnes first started North Carolina, the point guard situation was unstable, and that makes your wings unstable. And it's self said last night, he, he's still not a natural wing. He's still trying to figure it out. Played a lot of power forward yeah. in high school up in Toronto. The GTA, greater Toronto area. This is Davis on a matchup inside against MB. Ten to shoot. Ball screen going left. He's going to try and turn the corner. And he buries the long three. He's a big-time player who's been in a lot of big games. Fifth-year senior. Thames has seven. Eight-point lead for the Aztecs. Gale indeed to shoot. Doesn't want it. Selden. Whistle blown. He stepped out. San Diego State throwing the shackles on Kansas. Timeout. First half game summary with San Diego State jumping out to the eight point lead here, 721 left before halftime. Hi everyone, Spiro Adidas, Doug Gottlieb with you courtside. Kansas, their last game scored 93 points. They've got 13 so far. But that was Fool's gold against Toledo, who Bill Self thought they didn't dig in and really guard defensively despite the fact Toledo came in undefeated. San Diego State's a different animal. You got grown men, grown men like Josh Davis, who have come and they see Kansas on the front of their chest, Allen Fieldhouse, and they think this is my chance to shine. Davis, better when you give him a step, better when you give him an angle. And he struggled last time he faced this type of length against Arizona. But when he's gotten an opportunity, especially against Derek Black, and in transition, he's been dynamic down low. If San Diego State can find those ancillary scores like a Davis and a Sky Spencer, they got a chance to be very, very special, not just in the Mountain West Conference, but beyond. Fisher talking about what a huge get Davis was after he decided to transfer from Tulane, was recruited by really every major program in the country. Now, he's not a go-to scorer. It's a lot of garbage points and angle buckets, but just having a guy down there who has played college basketball, has competed at a pretty high level in Conference USA last year for Tulane, was originally recruited in the ACC. It's a valuable asset to have. And Davis entering this game, fifth nationally in rebound. See how much better that is, doubling, going left on the ball screen. Traveling violation on Winston Shepard. Houston made it, that is the sixth turnover for San Diego State. If you've just joined us, 13 to four run for Steve Fisher's Aztecs. Covering the last eight minutes. San Diego State, James Johnson. Kansas having major issues offensively, three of 20 for the half. And they've missed their last four straight. Big sports day in San Diego. The Chargers, the playoff winner earlier today in Cincinnati. Could be a terrible sports weekend if you're a Kansas and Kansas City Chiefs fan. That's right. Missouri wins the Cotton Bowl. Kansas City suffers the second worst comeback in NFL history. Now your Jayhawks are in trouble at home. A lot of bummed out Chiefs fans around here yesterday. And be quick. Spin. Look how quick he is with the footwork. Back to the line for two. It's not just the footwork, Spiro. It's he catches the ball and knows the double team's coming, so he takes a relief dribble, and now he gets a running start at James Johnson, who just doesn't have the foot speed to keep up with him. So saying he's so young, he's still trying to figure out so many things, living in a new country, and Pete told him the other day that he's 
He's figuring out whether he should get a driver's license first before he has to make some other big life decisions. He's a very thoughtful young man. Self also saying that he's recently started to research college centers, Doug, who left after one year for the NBA, as opposed to guys who stayed for two or three years. It's pretty easy Google on the internet. Guy named Tim Duncan's done quite well for himself. It's a man's game, and you want to develop fully before you get thrown in there. If he were to come out, I just talked to two scouts before the game who said he'd be the one, the two, the three to pick. Mm. Self has never had a number one overall pick. Maybe the only thing that his program here in Kansas has lacked over the last 11 years. Thames taking on four defenders, knocked out by Kansas, 16 to shoot. And they're forcing Xavier Thames to go right. He says, thank you, I'll go right. And I'll stay. He drives hey. well right, but like most right hand shooters, most. Jordan and Kobe the exceptions. Most right-handed shooters prefer the pull-up jump shot going left because you have a tendency to over-rotate when you're pull-up jump shot going right. This is O'Brien absorbing contact. Davis climbing in the ladder, and that'll be an offensive foul. Okay. And that'll be his second. This new year, get a little crazy with Robin Williams and the Crazy Ones. New episode Thursday, 9, 8 Central, only CBS. I, I don't understand how that was a foul when there was no box out that occurred. Josh That's a Davis big one. simply playing a big one. Skyler Spencer, two fouls. Josh Davis playing right now with two fouls. See, Wiggins just kind of caught looking. That He's over the back, but there's no box out. He just kind of caught wrong place, wrong time. So six-point game. This is Jamari Trailer, the sophomore. What a story this young man is. As he misses the first free throw. Gifted athletics. Athletic. So trying to figure out... Got a play. Uh, Shepard able to draw contact. They're asking if the basket be counted. No signal yet. It won't count it. It'll be two shots for Shepard. And that is the second on MB. That's goaltending. I don't think it was going in, but it was definitely going down. Yeah, and that's, that's a pretty easy call. Even off the deflection. That I don't know about. So the basket was not counted. Two free throws here is Shepard. Misses the first. Shepard, their second leading scorer. We told you 17 points over his last three games. And his offensive game, Doug, rapidly developing. They say he's matured emotionally. He's a lot more vocal than he was last year on the floor. Last year, he was a guy who couldn't shoot, who didn't know he couldn't shoot. And he would take untimely three-point shots. He's slowly but surely developed better shot selection. Kawhi Leonard to Jamal Franklin. Now the Wings from Shepard, the banner has been packed. What a play by Wiggins. Up and under. First bucket for the freshman. Missed his first four shots. Magical play by Wiggins. It's on foot, and they will count the basket. That time he gets the continuation. Well, here's Andrew Wiggins. Now here's the last bucket. Winston Shepard driving. That's actually, that's a good call. There was no additional dribble. And so even though the ball was in the air, John Higgins saw it, said he released it quickly. Count the bucket. Shepard is 69% free throw shooter. Shepard's mother, Eureka, actually signed with Kansas to play basketball. But then after the passing of her father, decided to go to Texas instead. So this place has special meaning for Shepard. It's, it's one of the things, though, that's kind of understated. I know they haven't lost since we go back 68 games and they lost to Oral Roberts here and Scott Sutton's team years ago. But it's one of the things that I experienced from, as a player at Oklahoma State. We played a place, Gallagher Iba Arena. And it had a similar type atmosphere. And what happens is some guys become turbocharged. And even though they're on the road, they just love playing in the environment. And they'll play above their level because you're playing at Alvin Fieldhouse. Because you're playing with Cameron Edward. This place, a temple to the sport. As Wiggins missed his first four, he's hit his last two. That's a bad matchup if Trigley's on him. In the mid-range, going to the basket, in attack mode. Andrew Wiggins is special. Five-point game. We hit the five-minute mark before halftime. Where do the Aztecs?
Aztecs go here for offense. O'Brien. Slatted inside. Trailer got a hand on it. Mason left open and hits. That's a long two three point game. Mason, the freshman out of Petersburg, Virginia, started a couple of games earlier in the season today off the bench. Three point shot, no good, but they foul the shooter. And three free throws coming up for Quinn. It's on Fart, he's second. Just a killer from the Deer Tharp. You're finally getting defensive stops. Mason hits an open shot. Let's take a look at his feet, make sure it's a three, it is. And Theo Quinn gets three free throws. Fark had briefly been stripped of his starting point guard position after the losses at Colorado and Florida. But he has played very well of late as he picks up his second. He also blames himself. He thought it torpedoed his team when they went on the road and struggled at Florida. You know, Frank Mason wasn't ready for that. They're in the environment, like the O-Dome. And the team got way down and made it competitive late. So the deer didn't react well, the team didn't react well. Self actually put it on himself. Said he overreacted, took him out of the lineup. So here's the point. The walk-on last season awarded a scholarship this year. Had a critical three in that game-sealing second-half run early in the week at Colorado State. Yeah, he, he didn't play to start the year. And now he's had eight straight, ga eight straight games. You know, where he's played and really contributed. Transfer from Cal State North. Six point game after the free throws. This is Mason. San Diego State going a little zone because their starting bigs are on the bench. Skyler and Davis on the bench. Contact that time against Quinn. And we'll get a timeout. Xavier Thames, one of the more underrated point guards in the country, leading the Aztecs here at Allen Fieldhouse. Six-point lead for the visitors from San Diego State. Let's take you back into the time machine. February 22nd, 99, the short out backwards game. Oklahoma State here at Kansas. Doug Gottlieb, the assist to Glendon Alexander, tied the game in overtime. Then Adrian Peterson fouling Kansas's Ryan Robertson. No time left. He sank the first free throw, winning the game. Boy, you got cheated, Doug. Phantom foul. Tie game. Great game. And uh, I, I, the number one thing I'm asked, when I am around Kansas fans is, do you have your shorts on right? And it was a great game went to overtime. The they were, well, they were chanting, I thought it was shirts on backwards. So I looked down midway through the first half and I thought, I'm good. <laughs> somebody else must be somebody on the bench. We actually called a 20 second timeout. I changed shorts and then from chanting shorts on backwards every time I touched the basketball was shorts on forwards. But forever now in, in the Jayhawk State, I'm known as uh, well, flowers take that shot. When you get shorts on back. When you get jeered in this building, my friend, you've arrived. Andrew Wiggins shooting in one and one. So Andrew Wiggins at the free throw line, eight points, three boards after a slow start. Here's how tough a place it is to win the fall down. Eddie Sutton, my head coach, went over 800 games in college basketball. Never won a game. Oklahoma State beat him last year. Hadn't beaten him since Leonard Hamilton was head coach. Great players, great atmosphere. And great coaches, and Lee Smith Boulevard. Steve Fisher again making his first ever appearance in this building. And what a win this would be. Fades all the way to the wreck again. Eight point Aztecs lead. Just because he likes to go left doesn't mean he can't go right. Xavier Thames strong to the left hand for his jump shot, but will drive going right. Thames just seems to play better the higher the stakes. 21 points per game in five road games this season. Rebound cleared by Quinn as we come up on three minutes left before the break. San Diego State, 10 straight wins, number 21 in the country. Second best 12-game start in their history as Baines turned us out. Here comes Mason. Hey! Selvin, going glass. Offensive foul. How about Akio Quinn?
stepping in and taking the charge. I know JB and Seth Davis must love that back in New York. Uh, we're standing by AT&T at the half. They will take you through the day in college basketball. AT&T at the half coming up with San Diego State up eight, 248 left before halftime. Bill Self will make a change. Selden will go to the bench. Andrew White will come in, the sophomore from Richmond. First time we've seen him today. Talented scorer who has struggled at the defense event. One of the things about college basketball, the highly rated guys, they all think they're going to come in and play. Just like the head coach I played for, Bill Self, same thing. You don't play defense, you don't play. Boy, Fames had an open seam baseline, bobbled the pass. Otherwise, it's had a layup and a time up position now favors the Jayhawks. And back door cut, a called play, quality defense from the Jayhawks, and Thames kind of nowhere to go. Landon Lucas is coming for Kansas for the first time, the redshirt freshman. And Portland there. Here's Wiggins. Step back a long two. Offensive rebound, Lucas. Fouled by Johnson, and free throws for Kansas. So Johnson pressed into some bigger minutes than Steve Fisher probably wanted to get him in a big spot with his foul trouble on the big man. And that's called scouting report defense. Winston Shepard sitting on the right hand, sitting on the right hand of Andrew Wiggins and the rest of San Diego State's team in help if he goes left. Third personal on Johnson. Kansas 6 of 25 from the field, and only 7 of 12 at the line. Not the kind of shooting that these people are used to here in Lawrence. Offensive rebound taken that time by White. Fresh 35 for the Jayhawks. Mason swallowed up on the shot. Trailer, offensive rebound, lost the handle. Lucas gets it back. So Landon Lucas, the little used big man off the bench, giving him a shot in the arm. Both teams deep in their bench. Lucas redshirted last night. White out of the close on the three. Rebound O'Brien. O'Brien inch for inch on the best rebounders in the country. And that is a pounding violation on Shepard. Eight San Diego State turnovers. I don't think that, in order for- At that point, he had his hands still over the basketball. It, it, and it's not even that. The, the rule is actually, you have to stop momentum of the basketball. I frankly think they were fooled. That Jerry Paul was a little fooled on the call. He assumed that it was a, that it was a carry. So a minute 32 to play, first half. Mason, contact, and he'll shoot two. Mason, three games started on the season for self. Went to the same high school as Moses Malone, scored over 1,900 career points at Petersburg High in Virginia. Second only to Malone. Self has described him as a little pit bull of a point guard, exactly the kind of point that he likes. And now he's supposed to go to Towson State, and then was able to get out of his letter before when he hadn't qualified. And Mason, of course, has given them what they needed in kind of a combo guard, an attacking point guard, a good backup player. Very similar to many of the guards he had, Bill Self had when he was at Tulsa. No real position, as you pointed out. Tough defenders, tough line of drive. So you think the guys like Tony Hurd, Dante Swanson. Nice. Minute 15 left before the break. San Diego State's lead at six. Shepard, their leading scorer, poked away by White, and it belongs to Kansas. Steve Fisher has tried to get away with not having Xavier Thames in here, and two straight possessions. It's a good call. Winston Shepard, nowhere to go. Where are you going? There's help in there. Bring it out, set up your offense, and get somebody else to touch. Second turnover by Shepard. As we move under a minute left. That's Dwayne Cole Lee, the L.A. kid. They have a hand on it. Now Quinn. Johnson had a hand on it, and Kansas gets it back. 46.1 left. Thames on the bench. 
Holy is a phenomenal athlete and shot blocker. As Mason comes in, he learns that the hard way. That's the length of San Diego State. They were three guys that can play multiple positions, both on the offensive and defensive end. Holy, the son of Dwayne Holy Sr., very good college player at UNLV and Pepperdine. Former third round pick in the LA Clippers back in 86. Running shot by Trailer. Rebound underneath, saved by Paulie, and Fisher will call for time as the Aztecs will hold for the final shot. Or will try to, 21.6 left. One of the morning's most outspoken sports talk teams ready to be unleashed. Boomerang Card in the weekday morning, 6 Eastern. It premieres tomorrow on CBS Sports Network, the 24-hour home of CBS Sports. Back with you in Lawrence, Kansas, 29-23, a matchup of two top 25 teams. Kansas, their long home winning streak against non-conference opponents, standing at 68, and the Aztecs with their 10-game winning streak on the line. Doug, where did they go here? 21 seconds left. Well, J.J. O'Brien is a point forward who can just back you down and score in the post. He's a very, very good passer, but I think Xavier Thane probably gets the ball end of shot clock. Jayhawks out of fouls. Five seconds. O'Brien waving off the screen from Johnson into the paint. Forces it up. Johnson, the rebound will not get a shot off. As we reach halftime, Kansas missing its final six shots, trailing by six at halftime. 29-23, San Diego State in front. We'll send you to James Brown in New York with the AT&T at the half after these messages on CBS. CBS Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by Reese's, the perfect combination of chocolate and peanut butter. Exxon Mobil. And by AT&T, Rethink Possible. Back in Lawrence, let's get you the Powerade first half stats, and this is just shocking. Kansas fifth in the country, Doug, at nearly 51% shooting. They have been held to six for 29. How about this? In Bill Self's 372 games at Kansas, the worst effective field goal percentage was 32% against TCU in a loss last year. Their effective field goal percentage, which takes into account, you know, adding kind of a half point to it because of three-point shooting, 24%. So this is far and away the worst offensive half since Bill Self has been the head coach at Kansas. Xavier Thames, nine points to lead the Az Aztecs. How impressed have you been with San Diego State? Very. Not surprised, though, because I've seen Xavier Thames since he transferred from Washington State, and this is who he is. Off a ball screen going left, you force him right, he can get to the bucket, and then if you don't hedge on a ball screen, he'll make you pay. The X factor for San Diego State offensively has always been Xavier Thames. You see what Thames did in the first half. San Diego State has won nine straight when leading at the half. Of course, Kansas has not lost to a non-conference opponent here at Allen Fieldhouse since November of 2006, 68 straight. Six-point lead for the visitors as we start the second half. And I want to thank Jesse Newell from the Topeka Capital Journal for giving me that stat on Twitter during the half. Here's Thames tripped up inadvertently by Wiggins, but the foul called. And it looks like Thames is his pain. That's the second on Wiggins. Uh, he's this is a guy that they cannot afford to lose. Yeah, he actually hit the foot of Skylar Spencer. Watch, he steps on his own man's foot. <laughs> I mean, Andrew Wiggins, it's like, I, I swear I didn't touch him. Replay can be used under two minutes in each half, but that's a judgment call. Just a bad call. If you've just joined us, hey, you trailing for the last 14 minutes plus of the first half after that early 9-8 lead. No field goals for the Jayhawks in the final four and a half minutes of the first half. And he set up Spencer. Underneath to Davis. There's a three. Shepard. Offensive rebound. O'Brien blocked by Ellis and fought the loose ball. Clark playing on that tweaked ankle that he hurt in practice Wednesday. Why a first half? And Bede, high off glass, four-point game. 
Here comes Shepard quickly to the rim, getting the deuce back for the Aztecs. You can't give away free buckets to San Diego State. They struggled to score on their own. That was too easy a bucket. One of the officials going over to Steve Fisher to explain what happened on his last sequence. Well, here's an adjustment Bill Self made at the half. And he told Joel Embiid, look, they're double teaming you on the catch. So take a dribble out, throw the ball to the weak side, and then let's play basketball. And that was perfect offensive execution and adjustment from Bill Self. Doug, does Bill look a little more svelte? Hey, how about this? Bill Self, first year San Diego State and Winston, as they kind of get locked up. Bill Self lost 13 pounds in a week. This and, week? Yeah, and you may ask yourself, like, how'd he do it? Well, the coaching staff, they all put $100 in. And the winner take all, he split it with one of the assistants. He sat in the sauna, layered up like a wrestler, three layers, and just sweat out. He lost 13 pounds in a week. Looks great. Here comes Self with the freshman. Spencer coming over, another block shot. He has been a force underneath. And you see Josh Davis rooting Embiid out. The big part of San Diego State's defense that's spectacular is it's not just that Skyler Spencer blocks shots, it's that they help him. Because usually when you have a shot blocker, you get that weak side rebound. Ellis had it stripped. They use the steal. Two on three, so he resets. The same defensive philosophy, doubling in the low post. And last block from... Spencer, his fourth traveling violation against Davis. Doug, they can't keep turning it over and expect to win this game. That's nine. their tenth. They had nine at the half. That in foul trouble, keeping Kansas in the game. Kansas' offensive ineptitude, allowing San Diego State to keep him at arm's distance. Six-point game, early couple of minutes, second half. Here in Allen Fieldhouse. Wiggins. Offensive rebound, and then Embiid lost it. Kansas getting it back with Selvin, and the presence of mind to use a timeout. Early stages, second half, Kansas down six. Six-point lead for San Diego State as we get to our AT&T Fast Analysis. You know, one of the reasons freshmen struggle when they get in the conference play or people have a book on them is because they get scouted. So here's an isolation situation for Andrew Wiggins. And San Diego State says, all right, we're going to make you go to your weaker hand to your left, and then we're going to clog the lane, and then watch J.J. O'Brien's mouth. That's number uh, 20, excuse me, yeah, number 20 in the black. He's talking. I'm on your left. I'm on your left. Making Andrew Wiggins shoot a jump shot, which is his weakness, and go to his weaker left hand. Wiggins so far struggling from the field, just two of eight. Eight points for Bill Self. And J.J. O'Brien, who Doug just mentioned, Bill, as Steve Fisher said, he's as smart a player as he has ever coached. Traveling violation. And, and that's an out-of-bounds play. Bill Self ran in walkthrough. He had him go over it twice. One run for Wayne Selden. Instead, ran it for Wiggins. He's wide open. But instead of having confidence in knocking down the shot, he travels on a pump fake. He's trying to get him going. And one of the main critiques of Andrew Wiggins is he's just not thirsty enough. He doesn't have the desire to take over games. So thinks that will come. But uh, definitely a different dynamic to his personality on the floor. Davis, extra feed. Spencer Bobber did initially. Ellis the rebound. And then Wiggins is fouled by Shepard. That'll be the first on Shepard. Here are the numbers so far on the freshman Wiggins. Well, they, listen, they had the same issue with Ben McLemore, but McLemore was a far better shooter. Remember, McLemore also sat out a year and couldn't practice the first semester, practice second semester. So he'd been around a college campus. Wiggins wasn't here in the summer like everyone else was. So he gets thrown in, and people expect him to just take over games. That's not really his personality yet. Nor does he have the jump shot back that up. McLemore, the most talented kid he's ever coached. Three minutes gone by in the second half. Clark trying to create some offense. It's a long two. Batted out by Embiid. Shot clock resets. Ellis. 
Kansas is 7 of 33 from the field. Settling for jump shots going to get you beat against San Diego State, but they make you do that. The best two-point field goal percentage defensive team in the land, and Kansas can't get a sniff at the rim. And Ellis took their second leading score. He's 0 of 6. Spencer, not a lot of space, didn't matter. He's got eight. And rule number one in sports, take what the defense gives you. Kansas is giving them Skyler Spencer, and he's taking buckets. Spencer, a first-year starter for Steve Fisher. South point out of Eaglewood, California, in the shadows of the Great Western Forum. Foul called underneath, and that'll be the third on Spencer. In two days, Josh Holloway stars in the special premiere of Intelligence, Tuesday after NCIS, only on CBS. James Johnson will come in. Huge call. Spencer has to sit not before Fisher whispers something to him. Now throw the ball to MB. He needs to get touches even though they're doubling in the post. James Johnson can't guard him down there. They put him up and beat on the catch. Ball left open. That's a shot they're going to have to hit. They're going to win this game. He's got to give him a better pass. And thought if you don't get a good pass, don't take that shot. Shepard, 17 points over his last three. And San Diego State, a little second. Aztecs have won 10 straight games. Thames crossover, long two. Rebounded by Clark. Jayhawks have numbers, three on one. Selden just can't get out of his way. Selden bringing the heat. Leads to easy offense and Wayne Selby down Naismith Boulevard. Jayhawks down six. Now Kansas trying to turn defense into offense. Here's the difference in them being locked in. Xavier Thames wants to go to his left hand. Joel Embiid challenges on a hard hedge and they make him go back to his speaker right hand. A long three becomes an easy bucket for the Jayhawks. Reason their offense hasn't been good, haven't gotten run outs and transition points, and Wayne Selden saying that was far too easy. Another reason they haven't scored a lot of points, their bench, which has usually been very good, nearly 26 points per game today, only four. All four points scored by Mason. Pick and roll out of the timeout. Davis, good look at it, and beat quickly close. Make a trailer. And Kansas gets it back down six. Embiid. That's still a good set. They ran a play to get him a look with an angle. High, high off glass. Boy, he knew Embiid was coming. First points for O'Brien. And J.J. O'Brien's been dealing with a hurt right hand. He had a cast on it, hurt his field goal shooting, but he's a really good point forward. Clark, in and out. It's the first game that O'Brien is playing without that hand bandage. Suffered that deep bone bruise in the game against Creighton. He bounce pass underneath, so Spencer back in the game, playing with three personals. CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball continues after this message and a word from your local station. Eight-point lead for San Diego State. Next weekend, the AFC Divisional Playoffs are on CBS Saturday night. Indianapolis traveling to New England to take on Tom Brady and the Patriots. Then Sunday, San Diego headed to Denver to take on Peyton Manning and the Broncos. Coverage begins with the NFL Today, presented by Southwest Airlines, 7.30 next Saturday on CBS. Let me see your lightning bolts. Bolts won.
at Sports Authority Field earlier this year. Chargers getting into the playoffs by the skin of their teeth. The passing of their win today in Cincinnati. Wiggins short arms the three. If you just joined us, Kansas today shooting eight for 38. Two of ten from deep. This is Dwayne Pauline. Lanky forward off the bench. He's going to try to throw it. He sticks it. Biggest lead of the day for the Essex. I went to see San Diego State early in the year getting ready for the Arizona game. Didn't play in the Arizona game, but Dwayne Tolley has earned minutes. Earned them by making timely jump shots when they played in the Wooden Legacy and by defending multiple positions. Last four games, Tolley 6 of 14 from long range, nearly 50%. Self and fouled. Holy, he knew this was going up from the moment he caught it. Wiggins caught between two people who to defend. San Diego State showing other options other than just Xavier Thames turning the corner off a ball screen. 13-18 remaining. It is a restless crowd here at Allen Fieldhouse. Mason setting up MP immediately covered. And he's gliding through the rim, impeccable footwork, unable to finish. And the foul charge to Kansas. We talked about some of these kids coming in the top 10 recruiting class next year. There is Brian Dutcher for San Diego State. He is the head coach in waiting when Steve Fisher decides to hang it up. And he has been his right-hand man for the last 24 years. San Diego State up 11, 13.07 left. Tomorrow, Dave's all new for the new year with Lena Dunham. Plus, later this week, Marv Albert Sports Bloopers and Scarlett Johansson, followed by Craig Ferguson. All new, only CBS. Did you go Johansson or Johansson? Johansson, isn't it? I thought it was Johansson. I don't know if the J is That's one name we don't want to mess up. Okay, I just want to make sure. 11-point <laughs> game, San Diego right. State, 13.07 to play. Down the field house here in Lawrence, Kansas. Bill Adidas, Doug Gottlieb, our entire CBS crew. Here comes Davis, underneath, traveling violation on Spencer. Mm. And Bead on the bench, Doug, critical juncture here, down 11. Three fouls, only six points today. So where are you going to get points? Can they get Nadir Tharp going? Oh, that was a bad pass. Can they get Andrew Wiggins going? Here it comes, all the way to the rim. Masterful play by the freshman Wiggins. It's a nine-point game. Travel. Andrew Wiggins in transition is special. When you look at his numbers that people use to scout him, Website called Synergy. In transition, one of the elite finishers, especially going to a strong right hand. Wiggins called the best college prospect since LeBron James. Similar height. 1,300 people showed up here to watch him play the pickup game in June. Came in June, went back, came back. And when he showed up, it was as, as big a star as they've had signed here at Kansas, they three McDonald's All-Americans. It's just been different with the Wiggins factor. Whether it's the internet, whether it's the, the fact that we have so many one-and-dones, choosing Kansas over the likes of Kentucky and others, Florida State. Wiggins, the youngest of three boys in Toronto. And Mason on the three short. Wiggins, older brother Nick playing just up the road in Wichita State. Shock is off to that perfect start. So that that really influenced his decision to come here to Kansas. You know, his other brother plays in the state of Florida, and his parents went to Florida State. And I think he went to a place that he felt comfortable. Older brother Mitchell on Southeastern in Lakeland, Florida. Shot clock down at 11. Shepard wants to take black. Underneath, offensive rebound, Spencer. Kansas at this end has missed six of his last seven shots. Inside, look at it. Black putting it down. Seven point game.
Last basket scored by Trailer. We were blocked here for a moment. 14 to shoot. Davis inside gets a Quinn blocked, and they get it back somehow. Davis. That quiets him down. 16,000 plus here. Eight points for the two-lane transfer, Josh Davis. Davis poking it away. Shepard has it. No one back to Kansas. And San Diego State's lead is 11. Allen Fieldhouse went from plus 100 decibel to completely silent with a putback of Davis and then the steal and finish. We watched the Aztecs practice last night. They were as loose as could be. Steve Fish is saying we are playing with house money here. No one expecting them to come in and win. Certainly not this town. They're up 11. Kansas hasn't lost to a non-conference foe since 2006. Aztecs up 11. CBS Sports College basketball coverage is sponsored by Sonic. This is how you Sonic. The Mercedes-Benz Winter Event. Hurry in, exceptional offers end soon. And by the Quicksilver card from Capital One. Earn 1.5% cash back on every purchase. Last home non-conference loss for Kansas here in Allen Fieldhouse, Doug. You have to go back seven calendar years, November 15th, 06, against Oral Roberts. Oral Roberts, a place that Bill Self formerly coached. They came in, I mean, Marcello Bealy was one of 13 for three for the season. He hit seven of eight threes in November, and they hit 11 as a team. And Scott Sutton, of course, played at Oklahoma State. Bill Self, a former Oklahoma State player himself, came in and did what his dad could not and won here at the fog. They haven't lost to non-conference play since. Bill Self in this building, 166 and 8. He's got more Big 12 conference titles than losses in this place. Just remarkable. But right now, up against it, his team down 11. I told you about San Diego State, 21st in the country, 10 straight wins. Only the fifth double digit win streak in their history. Four have come under pressure. Shepard gliding to the rim. Embiid has it. This match is the biggest lead of the day for the Aztecs. Larry Ellis can really score. They need to get him the ball. Mason saw the opening. Nine point deficit, six for Mason. But again, that's Perry Ellis catching it. Double comes, take a step away, find the open man. I told you about how young Kansas is and just how new this team is. Davis, the tip, second tip, O'Brien. J.J. O'Brien, the young man who transferred from Utah before that 11-12 season, red-shirted his first year. Big play. Here comes Shepard off the turnover to the rim. San Diego State 44, Kansas 33. We are inside of nine minutes. Ellis trying to shoot over two, and Bead puts it down. The lead back to nine, eight for the freshman Embiid. And Embiid can have a field day on the weak side if Ellis will shoot, even though he's being double teamed because you have a guard trying to guard Embiid, who's just massive. Thames. Thames had nine in the first half, yet to score since. See, the last time Kansas shot under 30%, February of 2013. Ellis, and he's headed to the free throw line. Seven-point game, and for Ellis, his first points today. Here's Joel Embiid working. He's got a Creo Quinn on him. Just too small. Mouse in the house gets the weak side rebound. Now he gets this man-to-man -man coverage, but San Diego State's waiting to come. Double team. And Perry Ellis, who's an outstanding scorer, establishes position and holds position on the weak side. Ellis, a homegrown star out of Wichita, Kansas. A four-time high school player of the year in the state. Only natural he's come here to pay you. Enormous three-point play to cut it to six.
O'Brien trying to turn the corner and Bead got him and a foul called. J.J. O'Brien putting it on the deck and putting his team on his back. He'll shoot two, fourth personal on Embiid. Six-point lead for San Diego State as we come down the home stretch under eight minutes to play as we take a look at our game summary. Long time since we've seen a Kansas team struggle like this offensively, and Wiggins has had a rough day. Well, they haven't gotten easy buckets. They haven't gotten run out even though San Diego State's had some turnovers. And they play good scatter report basketball. Well, Wiggins misses a layup, but making him take jump shots, you see, he doesn't have a ton of rotation on the jumper. Making him take deep step back threes, that's not really his game. And then they've been ultra aggressive on their own offensive rebounds, on their own offensive boards, so that Kansas can't get runouts and easy transition buckets. When you don't get easy buckets, and you don't have a true point guard to kind of create shots for you, and you have a very good, long, athletic, grown man defensive team like San Diego State, you're going to struggle, and it's all kind of snowballed so far in this game for KU. Kansas shooting 26%. Doug, who do they turn to here for offense in this kind of game? Well, obviously Nadir Thar can get you points in a hurry, but I think Perry Ellis, Ellis can score at the high post. When they played at Colorado and they lost on a crazy Euro step three, but when they needed a bucket, they went to Perry Ellis at the high post, ran an ISO for him. He can score in the high post and the low post. Now, the problem is that San Diego State is doubling every low post catch. But you can run some action for him to get it where he catches it before they can double to him. Other problem is Ellis has had no rhythm. He's only one of eight, three points. Didn't score until a couple of minutes ago. O'Brien hits the front end of the one and one. He saw the foul situation with Embiid. He's got four. Seven point game with 7.56 left. KJ O'Brien, transfer from Utah. Offensive rebound, Shepard snuck in. O'Brien double digit rebounding in 57 of his last 62 games. He's a jump shot away from being a great player, but he's one of the rare players that doesn't have a jumper and knows it. He only takes him if he's dead wide open. Little crossover move, O'Brien showing off the handle. Wild shot, another offensive board. And a chance for the Aztecs to run some clock. Thirteen offensive boards for San Diego State. Spencer. Poked away and trying to find Thames. Thorpe got a hand on it. Mason. Free throws coming up for the freshman point guard out of Petersburg, Virginia. 7.05 left in a seven-point game. Tonight, 60 Minutes likes to take on powerful subjects, and there are none more powerful than Volcanoes, the explosive star you don't want to miss. 60 Minutes, only CBS. Now, this is an interesting lineup for Bill Self. Now, he's done it out of need because Joel Embiid is in foul trouble. But this is the more natural position for Andrew Wiggins at this point in his career, and this gives them their best ball handling. Selden at the three, Mason and Tharp in the, in the backcourt, and they downshift or downsize, and now Andrew Wiggins is playing the small forward position. They use this against Duke when they beat him in Chicago. He had a big fadeaway bucket. Kansas nine and three. The one issue against San Diego State is because they because they are so long and athletic, a J.J. O'Brien, that's not as much of a mismatch as it is against traditional teams. As Ketz, we told you earlier, number one field goal percentage defensive team in the country. And they are flexing their defensive muscle today. Shrigley lost the handle. O'Brien gets it back inside Spencer. Blocked from the back by Ellis. Spencer got it back up. Shot clock at three. Ellis clears. Rebound Spencer, not many second chance opportunities for the Jayhawks. And that's that's the problem with this lineup, especially with Andrew Wiggins playing tired. You can be tired, you can't play tired. He didn't even go after the offensive board. Doug, the Aztecs have hit a little bit of a wall offensively. Where do they turn to here? Xavier Thames on a ball screen. Here he comes, a runner. Oh, it's tipped up and in. And guess who? O'Brien. This ain't rocket science, but was it be rocket scientist in the sideline? Get the ball to your best player and let him create. 
Bill Self feeling the momentum turn again, signaling for time, eight point game. Thames misses, but JJ O'Brien cleans it up. Aztecs up eight. Big college hoops weekend and next week, Saturday, an SEC battle. Julius Randle in Kentucky against Vanderbilt. Then Sunday, Iowa heading to Columbus to take on Aaron Kraft, number three, Ohio State. It all begins Saturday, 3.30 Eastern, here on the road to the Final Four, CBS Sports. And Iowa, tremendous club. They're in Madison taking on Wisconsin. Of course, then they got to turn around. They get Northwestern at home, and then they travel to Columbus. Roy Devin Marble, of course, his dad starred at Iowa. Having a great year for Ben McCaffrey and the Hawkeyes. I look forward to watch next weekend. Double doors of college hoops. How does this one end here? 16,000-plus sitting on their homes. Kansas down eight. Mason. off the bench, five-point game. Josh Davis has an absolute mismatch. He needs to get the ball down low. Spencer rolling to the rim. Unable to finish, he'll shoot two. But pretty set up by Thames to suck in that second defender. This is called closing out short as you watch Mason relocate to the corner. And Xavier Thames doesn't run out because they don't respect Mason as a shooter. You dare me? I'll take it. Fourth personal a moment ago against Tharp. So now both Tharp and Embiid have four. Spencer only a 42% free throw shooter. One of two. Rebound Tharp. Six point game. We come up on five minutes left. Tharp. Wrap around pass for Embiid. Blocked, but a foul. Boy, it looked like Spencer had a lot of leather. They say he got him with the body, and that is the fourth on Spencer. That really hurt. The credit Nadir Tharp pushing tempo. Good call. Yep. He got him. And he knew he got him. But again, Kansas sticking with this smaller lineup of Andrew Wiggins at the four. And what that does is forces Josh Davis to match up either with Selden or with Andrew Wiggins. Steve Fisher calling for time. 5-0-1 left in a five-point game. San Diego State clinging to the five-point lead, 501 left. They have done it with their defense on the interior. They've done it with length, athleticism, and shot blockers. That was Dwayne Foley. J.J. O'Brien with the hands up. Skyler Spencer pinning it. Spencer again with the deflection. They've been active. They've been aggressive. It's been virtually impossible for KU to get easy buckets in the half court. How about this stat? San Diego State has won their last 103 games when leading with five minutes to go. A five minute mark. 103 in a row. If coffee is for closers, they love coffee in San Diego. Comedy steps up. Four point game. Can the Aztecs hold on? Led by as many as 11, O'Brien pops it up. Wiggins. Spencer not wanting to pick up his fifth. Two point game. Shepard had it knocked away. Spencer cleans it up. Game. Here comes Fart to the lead. Going glass. Closest that Kansas has been since the 12.05 mark of the first half when they were down 10 9.
a game it has been for the first year sophomore starter, Skyler Spencer. Timeout taken, 3.38 left. 11 for Spencer, four point game. Game reset, 3.38 to play. Possession arrow favoring Kansas. Both teams in the bonus. San Diego State up for it. Doug, you said at the top the Aztecs would need offense from someone other than Thames, and they've gotten it. Happening. Well, they've gotten it lately from Skyler Spencer, who just because they're not guarding doesn't mean you don't play. Here's Spencer. He sets the pick, and no one's guarding him. Wayne Selden hugging up on his man. Frank Mason hugging up on his man. And no one comes over to help the helper as Joel Embiid tries to play quality defense. He's gotten the last two put-back shots because no one has helped the helper and put a body on Skyler Spencer. Comes from an outstanding high school basketball program in L.A. coached by Michael Lynch. Price High School. Chance Murray, Richard Solomon. Murray's at Arizona State. Solomon's at Cal. Quality program producing smart players who know how to get buckets when it counts. Wiggins, big three. Spencer clears again, the L.A. kid, so huge for Steve Fisher here in the second half. And that's a play Kansas runs called shot. They normally run at the end of games, but it's getting them quality shots. It hit them the, the last second shot for Mario Chalmers against Memphis in the National Championship. Got just the look they wanted. It didn't go in for Wiggins. Wiggins, by the way, just four third time. Thieves. Living for the big moment, and a fifth-year senior has a dozen seven-point lead. Told you about Xavier Fage injured the last couple of years as Spencer swallows up another shot. Healthiest Thames has been in the last two years. And the Aztecs come in just fearless. And look, Allen Fieldhouse is an incredible environment. But I have to tell you, working for CBS and CBS Sports Network, they go into a place like the pit at Albuquerque, as good an environment. They have not been shook, even when this place has been raucous on its feet. It's a great point. Wiggins able to draw contact. 2.46 to play. We told you about the 68-game home winning streak here for Kansas against nine conference opponents. Haven't lost here in this set of circumstances since November 15th of 06. San Diego State getting closer. Now you're seeing Bill Self, who's a pragmatist with how he coaches. Now, he runs a high-low offense, but he'll go to a ball screen motion. Here's what I mean, pragmatism. He wants Andrew Regans to play at the power forward, the forward, have a mismatch offensively. And now he gets a chance to offense, defense, sub, as Trailer comes in to play defense because they struggled on the boards at the defensive end. Wiggins has been very good at the free throw line, entering today, and hit 22 of 23 at the strike. But this is a different kind of pressure for a freshman. Five points, San Diego State lead with under three minutes left. And Deerthar doing a great job of just not letting Xavier Thames catch the basketball. Here's Thames, the 50 year senior out of Sacramento. Aztecs want to chew up some clock. Shepard dribbled it off of his foot. They say last touch by Embiid. And I haven't seen the replay, it's below us, so let's take a look, but they can't go to the monitor. That's off his own foot. It's a bad call. If it were 23 seconds later, they could go to the monitor. Thames. <laughs> Whistle blown. It's against San Diego State. Kansas will have it. Fourth personal against Davis. That was a makeup call. One in one situation. There's no box out here. There's no box out. There's no foul. Although makeup calls were told don't exist, the fact was that they blew the call when it went out of bounds off of Winston Shepard, and now Kansas is going to get two free throws. And Josh Davis saying, I, I didn't box out anybody. Now, the officials' view was a little bit blocked. He was behind Shepard on the play. Officials will always tell you that's the toughest call to make. And as they take another look here at the contact, the whistle was blown on Davis. But Doug, what are they looking at? I think they're looking to see if it's Joel Embiid who was fouled, which he was. That's the, that's the call that they're making. 
So Embiid will shoot free throws instead of Mason. Embiid is 64% free throw shooter. 2.15 to play in a two possession game. I told you about Embiid's story, the freshman seven footer out of Cameroon. Prepped in Gainesville, Florida. Just two years in this country. Very quickly, overnight really, he's become probably the elite freshman center in the country. And Julius Randle obviously far more developed, more of a power forward. Of course, you got Willie Cauley-Stein, who grew up in the state of Kansas. He wasn't offered a scholarship by KU, he was a very good defender. But Embiid has, they're both at Kentucky, and we'll see them next weekend on CBS against Bandy. But Embiid, in terms of upside, potential, hands, shot, body fluidity, he checks every mark in terms of potential. The young man has been playing organized basketball for only three years. Three-point game. Embiid's second double-double of the season. He's got 12 and 10. J.J. O'Brien likes to back guys down and catch in the low post. No reason he can't get a touch with Mason on. Time to shoot. O'Brien. Nice pass. Inside, Spencer. Six it back. Ten for Davis. Five-point Aztecs lead. Wanted to shoot. Mason's going to try a three. They have dared Frank Mason to shoot. The last two times he's gotten it, dare me again. I dare you. Jayhawks cut it to two as Frank Mason. Wow. Two of the game's great head coaches. And a chess match late. Bill Self, remarkable success in his 11 years here. As the officials talk to the table, and they're trying to find out if it was a three or a two, just double checking. Minute 17 left. Both teams in the bonus. The discussion was whether or not Kansas called the timeout. Finally figure it out. 20 to shoot for the Aztecs. Where do they turn to here? Thames. Off balance. O'Brien had it poked away. Thames nearly took it back. And they poke it away. Shepard. We are under a minute left. Trailer fouling Shepard. 46.1 left. It's on trailer and still a one and one for San Diego State. There you see the team foul situation. Dougie can always prepare, shoot thousands of free throws. Nothing quite prepares you for this moment. That surprise that they found. Look at O'Brien. Another rebound, but he stepped out. They didn't really need to foul in that scenario, but Kansas able to dodge a bullet. Shepard, not a great free throw shooter. You put him at the line, it ends up working. Now Perry Ellis comes in. Timeout taken by Steve Fisher. 44 ticks remaining in Lars. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 minutes and a trip to some of the world's most active volcanoes, followed by elementary and new episode of The Good Wife and The Mentalist. Tonight, only CBS. Two-point San Diego State lead. No timeout was taken. The officials are looking at the monitor here He's not out of bounds. to determine if O'Brien was out. Nope. No, he, he, you know, and... 
John Higgins was there, but based upon that angle that we see, now we don't have a low angle on the line. This is again, new rule in college basketball where they can go to the monitor under two, but usually it's off of who the ball is off of, and that ball is out there, so I believe it's who the ball was deflected off of because J.J. O'Brien touched it but wasn't out of bounds. So Higgins is trying to figure out who is that ball deflected off of. Higgins, our lead official, also Jerry Pollard and Rick Randall. So here's a different angle. Ooh, I, I think that went in Bede's hand. Yeah, in Bede's hand. O'Brien O'Brien hits it first. And then here's Embiid. Yeah. I think it's off Embiid. Let's see what John Higgins thinks. He's seeing the same replays that we are. And remember, you're just joining us. Kansas hasn't lost a non-conference game here since 2006. And San Diego State hasn't lost in the last 103 games in which they led with five minutes to go. Something's got to give. The call on the floor is Kansas basketball. Yeah, that's about as close as it gets. I can't tell when it when it last touched from that angle. I can't tell when it last touches J.J. O'Brien's hand. And he obviously hits the ball first. Well, Doug, if they don't have conclusive evidence, tough to change the call. There's J.J. O'Brien, the fifth leading rebounder. Well, listen, about some of the damage he's done. They're still not certain. I, I'm telling you, I, if, if I were officiating, it would be San Diego State ball. But you, you're, you're right in that it doesn't, it's indisputable evidence. Rick Randall on the left of your screen. John Higgins on your right. High drama here in Lawrence. All right, here's what we got here, guys. Uh, no <laughs> idea. And I get, what do you think? 16,000 plus all burning a hole through these three officials. And it will be San Diego State basketball. I think they got it right. It was very close. I think they got it right. There's the streak. 68 straight wins in this building against non-conference opponents. Doug, what do you do here if you're Kansas? I would, play, I would play it out. San Diego State's not exactly magical offensively. Play it out, get a run out, get a quick shot. Inside, and B swallowed him up. Loose ball tracked down by Spencer. Shot clock yeah. at 30. Now, you don't have to foul still. 27. They'll foul O'Brien. <laughs> O'Brien only a 61% free throw shooter. One and one. O'Brien one for two at the stripe today. What a play by Joel Embiid. And San Diego State was very fortunate. Skyler Spencer got the ball and Kansas ran at him and tried to foul him. And the officials did not call the foul because he'd already released it. And he's a poor free throw shooter. Mm. Final 30 seconds, Kansas down a deuce. Hand off into a fade screen. Wiggins. 20 seconds. Bill Self will take a timeout. Two-point lead for San Diego State. Looking for what would be an enormous regular season road win. Timeout. There's your game reset. Bill Self out of timeouts. You see the foul situation, one and one. You know Bill better than anyone, Doug. What's he drawing up? Where does he want to go? Well, he, listen, they just ran their play chop, which is a handoff on one side and a fade screen the other. Wiggins got it and couldn't really do anything in the lane and chose not to shoot a deep open three. Last time in this situation, he ran a pick and pop. Uh, for Perry Ellis at the top of the key against Colorado, it wouldn't stun me if he would do the exact same thing here because Ellis is his best interior offensive player. Kansas in 11 years under Bill Self in this building has lost only eight times. And if San Diego State loses this game, they're going to be kicking themselves over missing two front ends of a one and one O'Brien missing a moment ago. There's Steve Fisher setting foot in this building for the first time in his long, illustrious coaching career last night with the Aztecs running through their practice. What a 
Magical run it's been for Fisher 15 years at San Diego State. 20 seconds left. Kansas is out of timeouts. Now Self put this off sideline inbounds play in and look for Andrew Wiggins to catch it on the weak side. Mason the point. Same as Colorado and San Diego State switches. Ellis to the rim and he will shoot two. They went early, 11.9 remaining. And keep in mind, San Diego State, two timeouts. It's on Thames, his fourth. Nice game, foul on San Diego State. Perry Ellis. So here is Ellis, 72% free throw shooter. One point game. San Diego State. First free throws. On the day for F Ellis, as Fisher signals for time, they'll have one left. Well, obviously, one, you're trying to get into his head. And secondly, you're trying to set up a play on a made free throw. You want to get it in, but set up your press bait, because Kansas is probably going to press to keep you in front. And if you're Kansas, and Bill Self is a former assistant under Larry Brown, and of course under Eddie Sutton, his belief, like so many veteran coaches, it's not the first shot that beats you, it's the second. And that's been the case here in the second half. You get so overzealous about trying to guard the first play for San Diego State, it's that putback, but for San Diego State, whatever they do, to try and get a second shot out of it. Ellis, the 6'8 sophomore from Wichita, Kansas, local kid. Finally recovered from that blow, hard hit he took against Georgetown here in late December, that bruised nerve in his neck. Doug, what happens here if he misses? I would actually probably call a timeout because Skyler Spencer is going to get it. I guess if Josh Davis gets it, he's a better free throw shooter. Oh, oh, oh. Ellis missed it. The rebound underneath off of Ellis out of bounds. San Diego State will have it. 9.8 left up one. I mean, you couldn't have gotten a better chance here. Great effort from Andrew Wiggins. Great effort from Joel Embiid. And Terry Ellis just wasn't expecting it. Slipped out of his hands. Everyone standing here at Allen Fieldhouse. Last Texas have one timeout left. They double Ooh. foul fans. And a fifth-year senior will shoot. And this will be a two-shot situation for Thames. I mean, just off of Ellis, he just, I mean, who expects it to come in and come in that low and hard? First you miss a free throw and then the ball slips out of your hand and what it would have been a dead layup. Here was the foul. Mm -hmm. Pretty obvious call. And it is still a one and one. So that is the ninth team foul against Kansas. One and one and the reaction from South and State. Xavier Thames, 13 points. Kansas, again, out of timeouts, 8.3 left. So they're going to run the same play that they always run here. Handoff and a flare screen on the weak side. And if you're San Diego State, San Diego under State. seven, you should foul. We'll see how Steve Fisher handles it. High drama in Lawrence, three-point game. Tonight on CBS begins with 60 Minutes and a trip to some of the world's most active volcanoes, followed by elementary and new episodes of The Good Wife and The Mentalist. Tonight, only CBS. Doug, you think San Diego State up three should foul here? Almost always. You know, you, you put asterisks by it, right? Kansas not a great three-point shooting team. Um, secondly, they're a tremendous rebounding team. And right now, under the bucket on may missed free throws, it's World War III. There's no fouls being called, just shoving guys around. And they're so big and so strong. I, I would foul. Especially considering you got Josh Davis, you got Skylar Spence, you got J.J. O'Brien, three good rebounders. But if Steve Fisher doesn't, it's because of, one, the lack of respect he has for Kansas and their shooting and the respect he has for them on the boards. Now, if you're Kansas, I can almost guarantee they're going to run a handoff looking for the three. That was the Mario Chalmers three. And then a flare screen or fade screen on the weak side for whomever's at the top of the key. No timeouts left for Kansas. The Jayhawks today from three-point land, four of 16. There's the freshman Wiggins. 
Steve Fisher can smell it here. 8.3 left for San Diego State. The inbound to the freshman, Mason. And they take the foul with Shepard. Bill Self irate. Yelling at official Jerry Pollard. He's yelling at him because he didn't call the foul earlier. But I disagree with Coach oh, Self. Winston no. Shepard ran Seven. alongside him, and then as soon as he crossed half court, as they've been trained to do, San Diego State, like so many teams, practices this. Clear hand foul. Now, one of the problems with the idea of making the first is missing the second, is it's in Frank Mason's head. I missed the second, I missed it, and they missed the first. Now, this is the big one here. Mason, 73% on the season. The freshman sets. Missed it. Five point seven seconds left for at Allen Fieldhouse, Lawrence, Kansas. The 16th ranked Jayhawks and number 20, San, 21, San Diego State. Mason hits the second. And now Xavier Thames. Not exactly what they wanted. Xavier Thames has to get the ball. Jamari Trailer will come in. A sophomore from the south side of Chicago. Now, yeah, uh, Kansas has to foul. Try and deny the basketball and get a steal on the inbounds pass. And if so, they get an in foul immediately. Quinn can certainly come in for the Aztecs. They quickly get to Thames. 4.6 seconds left. And a chance for Thames to push it to four. Incredibly impressive from Xavier Thames. Two guys guarding you, and when you're a great free throw shooter at the end of a game, you have to get the ball, and the last two possessions, he's demanded the basketball. Outplayed to Deer Tharp today. Tharp has fouled out. That's his fifth. You know, and, and this will be now two shots Correct. for Thames. Tenth team foul against Kansas. And so it looks like they may have changed the foul. They take it away from Tharp. And Xavier Thames embodies so many of the pieces of what's made San Diego State the program in Southern California. First, he's a transfer. Second, he's that gritty guard, kind of like they had Chase Tapley and DJ Gay and Al Fox. And he's gotten better and better and progressed as a player and as a person. He's up on Aztec Mesa. Steve Fisher says he makes the plays you expect from a fifth-year senior. Got it. Four-point lead. Kansas out of timeouts with under five seconds left. Thames getting the high fives. Four seconds, Wiggins. San Diego State with one of the biggest regular season wins in their history, coming to Lawrence and ending Kansas's 68-game home winning streak against nine conference opponents. Coming up tonight on 60, uh, CBS 60 Minutes, Elementary, The Good Wife, and The Mentalist. Your final score is San Diego State 61, Kansas 57. For Doug Gottlieb, Spiro Theater 6, so long from Lawrence, this has been a presentation of CBS Sports.